Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Ordinary E and another video. So in this video, we are going to wipe hard drives and install Windows basically. So you've built your computer, what do you do next? I know my computer's a bit shabby at the minute, we have to do the upgrades, but that's coming. Um, so you've seen me install the Windows very quickly, but I didn't show you how it was all done. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to do once you've built your machine and you're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the machine is I'm going to download the Windows Media into a USB drive uh, storage unit. Uh, this is a one terabyte. I think you need about eight gigabytes. So this should be plenty enough. But however, this is from Wish. So it's not really one terabyte, but there is enough on here to do this because I've done it before. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do using it, using the machine as it is, is uh, download the Windows Media Tool and I'll show you how you do that. And hopefully you can see the screen. Maybe I'll just adjust a few things here for you. That's basically what you're interested in. So we'll just show you that. I'll just log into Windows as it stands. Okay, so when you're on your Windows screen, all you want to do is insert your USB. Which mine has to be done from the back because the front IO or whatever you call it, AIO, is not there. So it's just detected the new drive right there. Okay, so the website we want to go to is the Windows website, but I think it's, it's called in, Install maybe uh, was it Creation or Creator uh, Media Creator, I believe, or Creation Creation Tool. Yeah, so it's come up. So Windows Install Media Creation Tool, not for Mac. To blah, blah, blah. Tool USB. Okay. So Windows Install Media Creation Tool USB. Create installation media for Windows. Yeah. If you can hear the belly rumbling, that is what a HDD drive sounds like, guys. So, yeah. Now, you've got Creation Installation Media for Windows. This is absolutely free. You can use Installation Media uh, on the USB flash drive or a DVD. Well, we haven't cleaned up our DVD yet, so we're just going to use the flash drive, which is quicker. You want to just do this with a USB anyway. For a clean installation, we install Windows, blah, blah, blah. Step by step, create the Windows 10 installation media. So that's the one we want there. So we'll download and install the tool now. And then click the little box on the bottom left and it should open it. Do you want to allow us to make changes? Yes. Click will notice if it says, do you agree that you have to agree? There's no, if you want this, you're gonna to have to agree. Upgrade this PC or create an installation media USB flash drive. That's the one we want, so we're gonna create that. We're gonna go next. Uh, languages English, Windows 10, use the recommended option for this PC. Uh, sure, why not? USB flash drive, yeah. Select a USB flash drive. There's only one flash drive in there. Removal flash drive, so that's the one. It's E, like, it would say next. That's it, so we're downloading Windows 10. Alright guys, so 
it's downloaded now onto, your, onto my flash drive. Uh, it says your flash, your USB flash drive is ready. So we're going to click finish. That took about 20 minutes or so. Probably yours will be quicker on a new computer or whatever. Click finish. Comes up. This may take a few minutes. And that's done. So now we can close down this window. And I'm going to safely remove the hard drive. It says safe to now remove. Okay, so here's our hard drive with our windows on it. The next thing I'm going to do and show you is how to uh, wipe your hard drive, format your hard drive. So if you're like me and you're collecting old PC parts, you're going to get drives that have, that have got stuff on it or just maybe you don't trust. So you're going to want to wipe it. Now to do that, you're going to go down to the window icon on the bottom left, usually. Uh, right click there, you're going to go to uh, Disk Management. And then you're going to see your disks. So you can see I've got two disks in here. One has got no partitions that I've recently done. This is the one with the Windows installation that's on the system. Okay. So. This is the one we want to wipe, it's called disk zero. I'm just going to make a note of that. And then this is the one I'm going to re-put Windows back on as well. So now we can close that window. We're going to right click again on the, on the window. And we want to go to command prompt of some sort, which I don't see here. So maybe you can just use the search bar at the bottom, type in command prompt, here we go. So there's command prompt comes up, that's the one I want, and it's going to bring you up this screen, which looks like the old uh, computer hacking type screen. Uh, in here, we want to start off with looking for disk path, I believe. Hit that. It'll ask you if you want to make changes to disk part, you're going to say yes. It brings you up with another window and it's called SK Part. Now we want to list space disk. The previous one didn't have a space, but this one does. And it will show you your disks. So I've got disk 0, disk 1. Um, the size, it tells you what the size is. So the size is 232 gigabytes on disk 1 and 279 gigabytes on disk 0. We have a free space of 1,000 so 1, 1,024 kilobytes is one gigabyte. So after that, this is the, so we want to format disk 0. So we're going to say select space disk 0, enter. And it says disk zero is now the selected disk. And all we want to do here is write in clear space all and hit. So then it comes up with this isn't really centered properly, but I don't know how to recenter it. But anyway, it comes up with what to type in. And you can see it, it shows you what they're options are. So it tells you what to do. So active, might have the petition as active, add, add a mirror to simple volume, etc, etc. The one we want is clean. Clear the configuration information or all information of the disk. Clean all. So C-L-E-A-N space all. Hit enter. Virtual disk service error. Clean is not allowed on the disk containing the current boot system. Okay, so guys, so obviously um, it won't let me do it from a boot drive, so it's using, I'm telling it to clean the boot drive and it's saying no, we won't let you do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is swap out to the next disk, to the next hard drive, and then show you how to install Windows. I'm probably going to clean that drive as well, I'll show you that afterwards, but first we'll install Windows into the clean drive, and then we'll format this, we'll come back to this and do this later. 
So let's just close down. And I'll swap out the drives. All right guys, so here's the two drives I just removed from my computer. I believe this one is the one with nothing on it that's been formatted and this is the one with the boot system on it. So I'm just going to connect this one up only for now. Okay, so I've just put the uh, blank drive in. I'm going to disconnect the internet and I'm going to reinsert and then I'm going to reinsert the uh, USB key. Okay, so I've just uh, removed the internet cable and inserted the USB key with the Windows media on it and I'm just going to turn on the system. There we go, so we're presented with uh, the Windows setup and I mean you can choose your options if you want English United Kingdom, language to install, time and currency, English, United Kingdom, keyboard and input method, United Kingdom, because I'm in the United Kingdom, and we're going to hit next. Install Windows? Yes, please. The setup is starting. Um, and if you want to activate Windows, I don't have a key, so I can't activate it, but, so you don't have to. You just say, I don't have a product key. It's fine. It then asks you which Windows you want to, which operating system you want to install. I'm going to go with the Windows 10 Pro and hit next. Mark says thank you and asks you to sign up again. So accept all the licenses. Hit next. Do you want to upgrade? No, we're installing a new one. So custom install. Here's the drive, one partition, free space, etc. Don't worry about all this, just hit Oh, this is the drive with the, sorry, this is the drive with the window. So now you can format it from here, I guess. So yeah, format the drive. It asks you, are you sure? You know, you're gonna lose all your information. Yeah, I don't mind. Let's do a new Windows install. So I got that wrong, that was the drive with the, the bootable, that was the bootable drive. See down here there's a green bar and you're saying collecting the information and then it'll be installed in Windows. Apologies guys, yeah that is the Google Drive, so basically we've just formatted that drive using this screen from the USB uh, installation media USB tool. Um, so that's good, that's a good way I just found that out and just learned that myself, so that's a good thing to, to know. Um, and what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to format this drive afterwards. The, the drive that's already formatted. <laughs> Alright, so while it's doing its thing, let's leave that to be and I will come back to you once it's done. Alright guys, this has been going for a while and I was wondering why it's taking so long and I've just noticed that this has come up. And it says, Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk has an MBR partition table on EFI system. Windows can only be installed to GPT disk. Okay, so what does that mean? I don't know. So we press OK to cancel this. Are you sure to quit? Yes. Now we get back to this stage. I think I'm going to try and go back and clean the disk again. So install now. And I believe yeah, at this point you can hold Shift and F10. That will give you the administrator command prompt. So we're just going to go and do that step again that we did, which was disk part. Disk part. We want to list 
disk. There's our disks. I'm gonna select disk zero. Select zero is now selected and press and then type in clean. Hit enter. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Now what we want to do is convert to GPT. Is that what it says? That's it, that's done it, right? Okay, now exit. to go. So now let's try it. Don't have a key. Windows 10 Pro or Pro M? What's the difference? Okay, so Windows 10 Pro N doesn't have media programs or whatever. So we're going to go with the Pro again. Click Next. Accept the terms. Click Next. Custom Install. So now the drive has got zero allocated space and we've got the option to click next, so yes, next. And now we're copying files, so it worked. Copying files, getting files ready for installation. So yeah, we'll let it do that thing, let it do its thing and then I'll come back to you once it's done. See, it's going to take a while. One percent. There we go. All right, how are we doing? Okay, so it's done downloading, and we now we've got some more questions. Let's start a region. Is this correct? United like Kingdom, yeah. Is this the right keyboard layout? United like Kingdom, yes. Do you want to add a second keyboard layout? Skip. Connect to the network, not yet. Continue without. Who's going to use the PC? Ordinary E. Password, can't let you see this. Security question. Okay, after you complete the security questions, you get to this screen. Let Microsoft and apps use your location. No. Except find my device. Windows won't be able to tell about my device. No. Send Diana's data to Microsoft. Only involved. Yeah. Improve ink and typing. No. Get Taylor experience with diagnostic data. Use advertising ID. No. All right, let Cortina help you get things done. Not now. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. Several more minutes and come back when it's done. Okay, so now that's done as well. Uh, 
and it didn't take very long and web browser maybe later so there we have it we've downloaded windows just have a look at the file manager and the disk there's a boot drive in there still so now we can remove that eject mass storage safe to remove and we can keep that for our future builds and that's it guys we've now got Windows 10 installed and up to date what you would do now is hook up your internet put in your internet connection information and then go to Windows updates but we'll do that in the next video and all the drivers so yeah we'll do that in the next video so stay tuned uh, make sure please subscribe if you want to see more videos and me continuing doing this and don't forget to hit smash the like button and turn on your notifications so you can don't miss my next video uh, thanks for watching and i'll check you on the next video